this is Lanel Connection Show, and we are happy to have for this afternoon at the Beverly Hills Country Club, the matriarch and the industry leader for small business for women, Miss Linda Hollander. Hi, Linda. Hi, great to be here. Yeah, I have been uh, meeting Linda in almost <laughs> every, but I've been everywhere on her. Yeah. Since last year, oh, actually, we've known each other for about all, more than two years. I could so passion like Linda Hollander, and uh, since then, I've been following her sponsors, Concierge. Concierge is a French word, and you'll know it from when you stay at hotels. The concierge can do anything you want or get you anything when you want. So that's what we do with people. We offer them services, whatever they want, to get them corporate sponsors. Wow, and that is something really great to hear. So you now have uh, a clue why I'm following this uh, brilliant <laughs> woman who has been an, a leader in the industry, especially for small businesses, uh, for women, specifically for women. And she is the, the, the icon of wealth in her wealthy bag lady. And I want to discover how she started. I mean, can you give us a little bit of uh, background? Okay. Uh, how, uh, what were the pitfalls, of course, what were the challenges before you rise to become the wealthy bag lady, Linda? Yeah. Okay, well, hey, you gotta know that about wealthy bag lady. So um, the reason I've got the brand name of wealthy bag lady is because I started a business that made bags, but it's shopping bags, it's mm -hmm. not ladies' purses. So my best friend and I, in the late 80s, created a business that makes shopping bags, and we made them for business, and we custom printed the names of the businesses on the bags, and uh -huh. we had companies like Disney, and Sears, and Nissan as clients, and knowing nothing about packaging, knowing nothing about custom promotional bags, mm -hmm. we grew it to a multi-million dollar company, so uh, that's how I got the brand name of Wealthy Bag Lady. <laughs> Sounds exciting, like, you know, you started from just, you know, just a, a, a simple idea of simple a bag. Idea. And then uh, the corporate world liked it, and then it became a huge business for you and your friend. Isn't that exciting? See, yeah, but mm -hmm. how, how small your ideas are, friends, uh, don't belittle yourself. Who knows that that one small idea can bring about the wealth in you. And uh, you can always uh, be someone like Linda Hollander here, who has been followed by a lot of small uh, uh, business entrepreneurs that want to know her secrets. That's why she's very active in the seminar industry as well as in the uh, exhibits, of uh, business uh, ex expos, business mm -hmm. exhibits. And she has helped a lot of uh, women uh, to grow from their passion and discover what they can give out to the world and have all those possibilities converted to wealth. Because that's what we're all about. The Landell Connection wants you to convert your passion to wealth because the possibilities are endless. Well, it all started because I was an art major. I wasn't even a business major. I thought business was completely boring. I never took one business class in college but I collected shopping bags because mm. I thought they were pretty. <laughs> I liked the one with the good designs. And uh, I was living, you know, in a rent-controlled apartment, real mm -hmm. small, and, uh, you know, could never imagine owning my own business, could never imagine owning my own home. But one day my mother called me and she said, I'm coming over. So when your mother calls, says they're coming over, everything goes in the closet. So I opened that closet and all the bags were in there and they came cascading down onto my head. All these bags I collected uh -huh. and I looked at them and I said, well, somebody's got to make these things. So we researched the business for about a year. Mm -hmm. We worked out of our homes and then we moved to our location mm -hmm. where we have a showroom, we had printing facilities and we had office space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so then it became a business. It became uh, a business. So uh, that's uh, how all the, you know, like we have so many great ideas. We have 20 great ideas in the morning before we finish our cereal. And, you know, you can take one of those ideas, just one of them, and build a great business. But the secret is taking action. Absolutely. Yeah. One small step towards that direction of really living your passion would make the difference, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. So, and... Um, 
this is not all about gender. This is just about, you know, we want to uh, differentiate how a man or a woman think in terms of small business. First of all, I absolutely love men. I've had great male mentors. And uh, I love doing business with men because I love the way that men make decisions because they make decisions very quickly. And I think that's wonderful. Women seem to take a little longer to make decisions. They seem to be a little re more reticent about investing in themselves. Mm -hmm. Men invest in themselves regularly and without apology. So I absolutely love that about men. I like that too. I love it. I love it. Now where women excel is in relationships. Mm -hmm. And that is where they excel in business because business even in the world that we live in, it's all about information, that's all about technology, it's still relationships at the core of business. And that's where women are really good because they create relationships and they expand and keep those relationships going in their business. Another way that I think that women are very well suited for business is intuition. Mm -hmm. Intuition. Yeah. Intuition. We all have that. <laughs> we all have it, and, and men have it too. But I think we all just need to zero in and read it, into it a little bit more because remember that time when you didn't listen to your intuition and your gut, hmm. you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> didn't work I out so listened. well, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you know, those are a couple of ways. Yeah, so, um, well, it, it's interesting to know that because, uh, you know, I've been also around men most of the time in my career time. So I know we can learn from men, but in your in your experience, how did you go about it? What is it that uh, women can learn from men? <laughs> I think women can learn a lot of things from men. Uh, women can learn how to really not take everything personally from men. Mm -hmm. We take things really personally. Right. We tend to use too many words sometimes to mm -hmm. explain something. Have you ever had somebody just say, look, just bottom line it. I just want to know the bottom right. line. I want to know the result I'm going to get. I always say to people when they're doing a sales presentation, be brief, be brilliant, and be gone. That is something that I learned from men mm -hmm. because Straight that's to what the they point. want. They want yeah. you to get to the point. Straight to the point. Yes. Uh, well, well, I know. I know where you're coming from, and I really can understand that. And that's you know that's that's the key of friends. Uh, when you have a mentor like Linda Hollander, mm -hmm. then she will take you to that spot wherein you wanna take away, uh, take the weeds out. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe you really got a brilliant idea, you know you're smart and you know you have uh, what it takes to become an entrepreneur, but you know, uh, for her, she's a seasoned um, mentor for uh, business uh, women. Uh, she now knows how to, to, to blend those learnings from men as well as from the women themselves. So, now let's take the reverse. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, what do men learn from women in terms of business? First of all, to pull over and ask for directions when they're driving. <laughs> but I guess that's not so applicable anymore because now we all have the GPS where we could just kind of consult our cars. But yes. remember the old thing about directions? And yes. <laughs> so, because they think too fast and they move too fast, they can be like in... I mean, too, uh, too many places at one point. There are a lot of men who do really good focusing. In fact, right. one of my mentors is really very good at teaching how to focus. But the thing is, generally speaking, you're saying, generally speaking, women tend to take a better direction. They take a better direction, and we could talk a little bit about multitasking because there's a part of the brain called the corpus callosum, and it is more developed in women, so women do tend to think bilaterally with both sides of the brain. And we, that just lets us do more multitasking, and sometimes multitasking is amazing, and sometimes it can be our downfall, because as you said, we don't focus as much on one thing. We're busy doing this and that, and then while we're doing one thing, we're thinking about the next thing. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so yeah. multitasking could be amazing, but it's not always what it's cracked up to be. Right, and the women have better. In your experience, dealing with a lot of women in the industry, I mean, you, you were telling me that uh, women have 
better focus in terms of getting the direction to what they really want to do. Yes. As long as you give them the basics and you give them the awareness, give them the leadership or the guidance, then boom, they're there. She's been doing this for how many years? Over 20 years. Over 20 years and she's still <laughs> there up and about. The wealthy bag lady getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> and you know what? Just today, I mean, you will hear all the noise all around us because she just finished a uh, meeting with the E-Women Network of Los Angeles chapter. Yes. And uh, she's, she's all over. I've met her at the crowdfunding live event <laughs> um, here in LAX uh, two weeks ago. And I've met her in a lot of speaking uh, events and all that. I mean, all... All my uh, colleagues and mentors also I she's that's why she has this event coming up in um, do I in have October. it right in, in October yeah October 4 to 6 in Los Angeles 2012 and that's all about a sponsor secret seminar going on live with her so check it out